They are going crazy. In terms of uh, in terms of agents, so now we're kind of getting to the crux of Career AI. But let's start with what is an agent, and how is that different or not different from ChatGPT? That's a good point. I think a lot of people are talking about agents uh, in so many different settings, and I think like people are starting to converge. Um, my understanding and what I have been kind of like fighting over is like, hey, this is what an agent is. It's basically the idea of an LLM that takes leverage from the fact that it has a level of, um, it has a reasonable understand because it has a reasonable understanding of the language, it can take a reasonable, what looks like reasonable decisions because of the text that it's been trained on, it almost feels like it has some reason. So basically you want to leverage that capability from LLMs to allow them to autonomously operate and do things. So that's the way that I would differ. Like if you think about ChatGPT or regular LLM models, you're basically either chatting with it or having it to complete text that you're sending. Now, if you can leverage the ability for a fit to reason or to look like it's reasoning in order to autonomously take actions and having this inner thought process, then it's where kind of like you remove the user from being a blocker on the interaction. And that's the point where you get an autonomous agent. So yeah, putting in simple terms, I would say while you are chatting and you're a part of the equation, you don't have an agent. The moment that you can remove yourself from the equation and that LLM can interact with itself, that would be my definition of an agent. I think that's a really, really good definition because we're familiar with a dialogue, right? You and I, as humans, are having a dialogue and it's two parties that are talking back and forth. I say something, you say something. And you can do that with technology too. I say something to ChatGPT, it says something back and it's a dialogue. But to your point, when that AI, that agent, that ChatGPT, that whatever goes out and then acts, right? And it takes action based on steps. And specifically, it's different than deterministic code kind of, you know, you click a button and then it goes and updates your Facebook post or, or status. This is taking direction and then it's, quote unquote, fake thinking, right? It's, it's trying to use reasoning to determine what should the steps it take be that starts separating from, it's not a dialogue anymore, right? It's not just deterministic code that's written to do a particular function when you click this button, update X, Y, and Z. It's now figuring out its own path of how to act in the world or with other agents or on its own. And I think that is a very, very good kind of delineation because the conversations around agents is a little ambiguous. Where do you draw the line? But I think that's a, a really good frame of reference. I think I think your own point. And honestly, I think it doesn't even to take an action. I think even if you going back to how people are interacting with ChatGPT, what happens a lot of the times is like you go into it, you ask it to do something, kind of sucks, and then you basically give it some feedback up to the point that gets like great, and you're like, oh, this is amazing got a few interactions, but we got there. So I would say like the agent doesn't even need to like perform any actions. If it's able to basically kind of like self critique, like that is that alone is already like an agentic behavior where like you say, Hey, write me an amazing email or an amazing newsletter or, or anything that you want to generate tax form. And it can self critique up to the point that it gets into a point that it feels good about it. Uh, and you didn't have to get involved in, I would say that's agentic behavior already. And I think you got the nail in the head there.